So the first thing we're going to do is just weigh out our oats and then just pour them straight into the food processor because we're going to blend everything up together to make the mixture. And then we need to add the bananas. So two bananas is about 270 grams, but I'm a bit boring. And with this recipe, the bananas will really, really help it stick together. So please do weigh them. And then we're just going to add the chunks of mango, our almond butter, our chia seeds, and our coconut oil, which will also really help the mix stick together. And then our water and a little pinch of salt. And once that's all in there, then you just want to pop the lid on the food processor and just blend it all up until it's really, really nice and smooth. And then either transfer the mix to a bowl or just take the blade out of the food processor and stir the blueberries through the mix if you're going to use blueberries. Um, so you don't want to blend those with the other ingredients. So now just let the mix sit for a sec. And while that sits, heat a big frying pan um, and you want to let it get really, really hot before you start cooking anything. I add a bit of coconut oil to the bottom of the pan, which just helps them cook. So I'm using about a tablespoon's worth of mix for each pancake. So they're not really big pancakes, they're kind of smaller ones and they work really well like this. They stick together really nicely. And then you just want to fry them up. Make sure you let them cook enough on each side so that they're kind of completely cooked through the middle. So maybe kind of two minutes or so on each side. And then I'm just going to serve them really simply with some maple syrup. So there you go. Super easy pancakes, 10 minutes, dream brunch or breakfast. Adding the blueberries is really nice because they kind of get that sweet explosion and then just adding simple maple on the top and it's just perfect. So if you try them, please let me know. I would absolutely love to hear from you.